Hello, Scrollgers! My name is BrettX11, and welcome to another video. Because Scrolls will be coming out on Monday, or probably the day that this video will come out, I am here to present to you my channel's official uh, ch uh, Scrolls tutorial. So, we're going to go ahead and start from the main screen. On the main screen, what we have here is we have the uh, Mojangster Scrolls tweets. Uh, in the middle, we have the, um, the changelog, and my name is here somewhere. Let me find it. Wait, let me find it. I need to find Yes. Brightest 11. Yay. And then server info. It tells you all about this stuff. I'm down here somewhere. Yep. And you have uh, uh, the users online, the online users in the past 24 hours, total scrolls, total scrolls sold, and um, gold earned. So that's basically the main screen. Um, all the time you'll be able to see this, unless you're in-game. It's your name, your rating, your gold, and your shards. I'll get into all that later. Don't worry about it. So you can go to Arena, that's where everyone is usually, and you can click on people's names to challenge them, trade them, or go to their profile, I'll talk about that more as well. Um, this is the chat, where you can say hi, hi, uh, and stuff like that, and you can uh, scroll down, there's a lot of people online because the Owl stream is going to be starting soon, and you can watch that, it's probably going to be on every single week, um, for a while now, so actually... That's pretty cool. Um, you can do the tutorial, you can do the quick, ma quick matches against the easy AI and stuff, and you can uh, do trials, which is kind of like a story mode, which is loading up. Yep. Uh, you can do quick match, where it's just a lobby and people wait for you to challenge each other. And um, let's go to the store. This guy is awesome, the guy who's, st who's sitting right there. Um, there's a, uh, you can buy, uh, you, uh, if you play games, you win gold. You can use the gold to buy uh, uh, scrolls. So you can either buy a random scroll, which is a completely random scroll. You can buy a scrolls pack. Uh, the random scroll costs 100 um, gold, and the scrolls pack costs 1,000. You can buy specific resources. Resources is what you use to place down characters on your board, which I'll show you when we actually get into the game. And you can use... Um, uh, yeah, you can, it'll cost 75 more gold to choose a specific resource instead of just choosing a random one. Um, so you can press the buy button. I'll do one because I am an order user at the moment. So I'll buy one and I got a royal, um, in front of me now. But I already have one of those, so I can sell it if I wish. But it'd be useless since beta's coming out tomorrow. But anyway, uh, just for you is a section where all those scrolls that are specifically just for you are there. I already bought this, um, this thing, so it's already sold out. Um, uh, if they, uh, this section just for you, uh, expires every four days, I mean every, uh, every week, I think, and changes, but this will change tomorrow because of beta, as I say again. Uh, pre-constructed decks, um, you can buy a completely full deck of scrolls, um, instead of buying them one by one by one by one by one. Uh, you can buy growth, uh, you can buy energy, and you can buy, uh, order. And, um, sometimes during beta you'll be able to buy... Um, decay, which I don't know much about. I know it's well, obviously it's about more destructive and um, decayish stuff. Uh, you can also buy avatars and uh, all that kind of stuff. You can also uh, buy shards, which shards are paid for with real money. As you can see, six hundred shards cost four euros. Uh, One thousand three hundred fifty shards cost eight euros. Two thousand nine hundred shards cost sixteen euros. So. You can, you can click on them and put in your credit card information to buy them. I don't think PayPal works for them yet. But as you can see, the shards actually cost much less than the gold. So this is 5,000 gold, um, yeah, 5, gold and 500 um, shards. Uh, a lot of the stuff you can buy with shards, except for the scrolls themselves. I mean, unless you're buying them, buying them from here. But once you buy them, you can go up into your deck builder. Right now, I, I mostly only have... Um, uh, 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 order. So you can do a filter so you can only get the specific um, uh, specific resource. I'll make it like right now I only have um, I, have, I have zero energy scrolls. I have one growth scroll and I have 54 uh, order scrolls. But what I can do is I can block out um, uh, order and I can click on growth. So I now have my one growth scroll. And if I block that out and I, just, and I enable energy, because I have zero energy scrolls, I won't get anything. You can change it from cost. So look, if I put name, I think it goes, yeah, it goes in alphabetical order. But if I change it to cost, busting a face is still... It's alphabetically in order of how much uh, in resources it costs. The most expensive one in order that I have currently is six, and is the Honorable General, who's pretty awesome. Um, 
you can go to your profile and you can edit your ed, ed, edit. What am I talking about? You can edit your avatar by clicking on these arrows and changing them. Uh, my favorite one is obviously the one that I use. Uh, and for all you girls out there that can buy the game, of course you can change your set to be a female, which is for some reason I think that these avatars actually look cooler than the male ones. But anyway, you can do that. You can look at all your statistics on your page as well. And um, on your settings page, this is where you can change your resolution. You don't have to wait for New Year's for that. Ha ha ha. Anyway, uh, <laughs> you can change your music. I love this girl's music. Is it? It's not playing. There we go. It's fine. Then you can hide your chat sounds and all that kind of stuff in the uh, SFX. And uh, I will actually play a game now for you. Um, so I'll just play against Easy AI so it's easy to explain to you. Uh, once you create your decks, you can save them and they'll come up here. And uh, actually, I didn't explain that well enough. I'll go back. Uh, you can go. You can go ahead over here, and to make the deck, you click on them. Simply, you drag them down here. Uh, you take a. You can take as many as you want. Uh, they, but it needs to be over 50 scrolls for it to be a legal deck. And you press the save deck. You put in your name. You press save, and you can load the deck. Obviously, this one doesn't have um, uh, a legal amount of scrolls in it, so it says illegal. I'll just go ahead and delete that. But yeah, um, now I'll play the game. I explained that. Great. So I'll go to the quick match and I'll press easy and I'll press my one deck that I currently own. There we go. Now, uh, this is the easy AI guy. Um, you start with uh, five scrolls in your hand and you need to resource, you need to sacrifice your resources to place uh, anyone down. Currently, the only things that I have that cost one resources are all spells. So if I. Um, Go ahead and sacrifice. I mean, there's one enchantment and the rest are spells. I, if I go ahead and sacrifice uh, the Kabonk for one resource, I will now be able to place these. Um, uh, of course, if you're di if you're playing on a different resource, the picture down there in the bottom will be different. But anyway, um, so yeah. Then then basically that's all I can do. So in my turn, I'll let him do something, and he didn't do anything. I don't know why, but anyway, um, I can continue, I'll sacrifice this for resources. I still don't have anything that I can play besides enchantments and spells. I mean, yeah, enchantments and spells. And then I can end my turn. He'll probably sacrifice for resources. Yep. And he puts down a Greyhawk. And, um, yeah, now this time I'll be able to place down a character. I will sacrifice my Horn of Ages for more resources. And I can click on my guy, and I can click on any part of the board that has that white circle thing around it. And I can place him down. And a lot of people ask me when I play, Ah, how do they attack? Do I have to press a certain button? But anyway, here, this is attack. It's three attack. His health is three, and his countdown is two. His countdown means how many, um, uh, how many rounds you have to wait until he will attack the idol or the person in his row. Um, so basically, all you need to do to um, attack is when when he is when it's his turn to attack, you just end your turn and he'll go ahead and attack. The bunny right now that he has is pretty cool because instead of attacking, what he does is he summons another version of himself to protect the other lane in any adjacent tile. Um, uh, what I can do now is I will sacrifice. No, I won't sacrifice power bound. I will sacrifice my. There's no help. And I'll use Blessing of Haste, which um, uh, reduces my countdown. So now his countdown is zero, and I'll put down Power Bound on him. Because what Power Bound does is, whenever he gets killed, I get one resource for um, completely for free. What I'm going to do to be smart is, Kabonk uh, deals one damage, and of course, the bunny only has one damage. So I'll attack him, he'll die, so now he has a higher chance of um, reducing the health on this idol. To win, you don't have to break all five, but you only need to break um, uh, three of the five. And uh, so, yeah. And now, what I'm going to show you is uh, I don't think this is what I would actually do, but instead of sacrificing for resources, you can sacrifice for other scrolls. When you sacrifice for other scrolls, it'll turn over, uh, it'll sacrifice that one scroll that you had for two different scrolls if you didn't like the other one. I did get some decent scrolls this time, so you can pick him up, place him down somewhere else, and. Um, yeah, that's, yeah, exactly. Uh, you can click on the guy and click on the arrow of an adjacent tile to move them around. Um, callback is a scroll, which is, I'm not going to explain all of them. I'll, I might do another one of those when I have a lot of the scrolls sometime in the future, but uh, callback is pretty cool. 
I'm, I would not do this in this scenario, I'm just doing it to show you. Um, call back, if you click on one of your guys, you can call him back into your hand, let's say if you want to move him somewhere else on the board in a different round, and then you'd end your turn. Uh, so that's basically gameplay. Uh, if you press, um, if you press escape, you can, uh, you can access your settings, uh, but here you can't change your resolutions, you can only change your music and your SFX. Uh, you can go to back, you can go to the help screen, which will tell you all about this kind of stuff, your idols, your resources, ending turn. By the way, that is the, um, that's the logo for the Decay resource, which will be coming out sometime in beta. That's the attack, your countdown, and your health. And we'll talk about scrolls, creatures, structures, and spells, and enchantments. Uh, you can go ahead and close that. Um, you can surrender, which I will do now because I'm not sure if I have other stuff to explain to you. Uh, I got three gold, yay! And here you can look at all the statistics of your game, and they show off your nice little fancy avatars, and you can go ahead and leave the match. Uh, you can, uh, la, 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 la. sorry I hear stuff in the background. Uh, disregard that, sir. Thank you. But, um, now what you can do is, uh, what else can I show you guys? Uh, I showed you shards. Um, uh, Brett, I suppose I've been, yeah, I like your suggestion. Yay! I was, uh, my suggestion was to make a, um, a resource called Chaos because Order is a, um, is a, uh, what's it called? Order is the opposite of Chaos and Chaos is the opposite of Order. Therefore, a resource of, um, of the opposite would be a good clash in, of the Titans and stuff. Um, I'm going to tell him what I'm doing. Thanks, John. I'm actually filming. A schools to 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 real. I think I spelled that. No, I didn't spell it right at all. Um, sorry for spelling. Okay. Uh, okay. You can uh, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, that's that's a lot of. I explained basically all about it. Sometimes it glitches out, and you have to go like that as well to read some of them. And sometimes they stack on top of each other, so you only have to go down instead of to the side. Um, that's basically it. Um, I'm not sure what else I could possibly talk about. Um, let's just go through everything again to uh, plop everything up into your head. Um, okay, profile, where you can check all your statistics and edit your avatar. Settings, where you can change your resolutions, you can change your SFX, your music volume, your, sat your chat sounds, and your full screen stuff. Store. We can go ahead and buy and buy res uh, buy scrolls, uh, sell scrolls, buy shards, and use shards to buy avatars, pre-constructed decks, cards that are uh, scrolls that are just for you, and random scrolls. And the arena, of course, where you can challenge players, play stuff, and have fun. Exactly. And thank you, John, for telling me that this is great. Um. Uh, this thing is your notifications. If someone sends you a challenge or something and you don't respond fast enough, you can click on this to get your chat to get your your log of stuffs. And my speaker just fell off my table. But anyway, um, that is about it for scrolls uh, and your main screen, of course, where you can get all the stuff. Um, that's about it for scrolls. I hope all you scrollers will be buying the game. Twenty dollars, fourteen pounds. I. Don't remember exactly how much, that, but that's gonna be. It's gonna. It's for sure twenty dollars. Um. So you Americans will be happier. My name is Brett Eleven. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.